So I just found out how to get clear potato graphics with no bugs such as the see-through ground or any other bugs. So let's begin with the tutorial guys. Alright boys, the first thing we need to do right now is open up your Google Chrome and what you need to do is just type in NVIDIA Inspector just like so and it should be the first link right here, it should be a GitHub link. So open it guys and you should find assets right here and you should download the first one which is NVIDIA Profile Inspector .zip. Now I want you guys to be very very careful with this. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go over here on Profiles and what you need to do is just select this, okay, or just type in Fortnite just like so and make sure like this is selected to make sure this is selected it should be like a green bar just like so and there are some steps right now that you guys must follow okay so the first thing we need to do right now is find um this option right here which is anti alias i don't know how to pronounce this but transparency super sampling but what you need to do is go over here and select make sure it is selected on the replay mode out uh, just like i have mine selected and the next um <clears throat> step we need to do is go over here on texture filtering driver control uh, aod bias or whatever it is and make sure this is turned on off texture filtering um uh, dash LOD bias. What you need to do right now, guys, is uh, I'm gonna put this down in the comments so you guys like don't mess this up. So it's basically you put zero uh, x like six uh, zeros, twenty five, just like so. And texture filtering, it should be the same like this one. Okay, so these two settings must match. And uh, texture filtering negative LED bias. What you need to do is select clamp, just like so. Texture filtering. This should be set to like quality, but I would advise you guys do high quality. Just go over here on apply changes. Now there's something in Epic Games Launcher you guys must make sure is enabled. So go open up your Epic Games Launcher, go to library and go to Fortnite and select these three dots right here and go to options <laughs> just like so and make sure you have DirectX 12 shaders installed. Uh, which I'll tell you why later in this video. So make sure you have this installed, just tick it, click on apply. And even if you don't have it installed, it should install in like less than five minutes. All right guys, so now Fortnite is loaded. There are some settings you guys must apply. So let's go over here on your profile and go over here on your settings. And the first setting we need to apply is DirectX 12. This is why I told you guys to download DirectX 12 shaders because if you didn't, you would have this option right here. So assume you should be set to performance or DirectX 11. Go ahead and set it to DirectX 12. The next setting you guys must make sure you apply is the non 8 or whatever this is pronounced virtualized geometry. This is like basically, um, I don't know how to explain it, but this should be like the setting that will fix all the see-through stuff like the bugs with the ground and stuff like that so go over here and select this and pretty much what you guys need to do is just copy my settings i'm just gonna do a little i'm just gonna do a little scroll just like so you guys could copy my settings for the best amount of fps now in case you guys were asking me what would happen if i just select performance mode this is basically what your builds are gonna look like like your builds would be like just blurry and stuff like that but this is basically the definition of potato graphics all right boys so what you need to do right now is open up your nvidia profile inspector because i do have two more potato graphics i want to show you and at the end of this video you decide which one you're gonna you want to go for I've Obviously, you guys know the drill. Open the video profile inspector, go here on profiles, and select Fortnite just like so. Make sure there is a green bar right there that means it is selected. You guys, like, pretty much don't have to change any other setting apart settings apart from texture filter, LOD bias, and the one below it. So, on the last one, we used um, 0 uh, 0x uh, 6 zeros 25, but for this one, we're gonna go right here and we're gonna select plus three on the two of them just like so plus three and what you need to do is click on apply changes all right guys this is basically what the game looks like it is less potato -y, as you guys can see as you guys can see like me you sure like this is one of the greatest potato graphics i've ever seen it's not like so potato -y, but it's like super playable it's really like it's not dropping me any fps all right guys this is the last potato graphic i want to show you basically don't change anything just go back and uh for this one what you need to do is we're just going to change the first one so obviously go over here again and but this time what you need to do is select 1.5 just like so 
and make sure this one is still set on 3 and alright guys this, this, is, this is basically the final of uh, Terra Graphics I prepared for you guys and me personally I don't think this one is really worth doing it because it's really not that complicated with and it's just a waste of time to be honest but if you want it like not even stopping you go ahead and apply this one also so now I just want to say that this is not bannable, your account or any other personal data will not be stolen, you don't have to overthink it. But one thing I absolutely hate about this way of using Potato Graphics is the fact that you have to use DirectX 12 instead of Performance. And as we all know, Performance will simply boost your frame rates even more. And I also don't like the fact that whenever I fight somebody or I'm in a really stacked location, the game just begins to lag and sometimes it really just crashes out my PC. So now guys, so I assume you guys probably don't like the um, Potato Graphics. I will show you how to revert them. So obviously, open the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, go here on Profiles and select Fortnite. The process is sim really, really simple. It's not too complicated. And once you guys have opened it, what you need to do is go over here on this little NVIDIA logo right here and just click on it and it's gonna instantly restore your um, default NVIDIA settings. And in case this one doesn't work, what you guys need to make sure you're doing is that you're selecting Fortnite. It's not set on Global Driver Profile. But if it's actually set on global pro driver profile, it's basically do the same thing. Just click on this little NVIDIA logo and everything should be back to normal. Alright boys, I'm thinking of the video right here and let me know in the comments which potato graphic graphic like which <laughs> yeah, I can't but, bruh I'm stuttering which one you guys like the most and uh, me personally I think the last one I showed you guys was probably the best one even though it's low key pointless using it it's basically like the default graphics I don't know and uh, as always as always it's been your boy Chapo and see you guys next time